Hi guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to get goods at Minecraft PvP. This is mainly focused on the Hoblite PvP, which is Shieldless UHC. And I'm basically just going to give some simple tips that can help you improve massively. Now the first tip I would give is to not always crit. You don't want to always be going for crits. Um, there is many different things that comes into like sword PvP and stuff that I know about. But I'm going to be talking to you guys as if you are pretty bad at the game. Because I know a lot of you don't really know much about pvp and i don't want to bring up these like really weird terms that you don't understand um but something really good that you can do is get a crit and then hold w get a normal hit and then jump again now the reason this is good is because it gives you a chance to move around and reposition yourself so your movement is extremely unpredictable so as you can see i get a crit a normal hit hold w crit normal hit w and you just can keep doing the same thing over and over again. Now, when I first started playing, something I was doing was just spamming crit. So if I just spam crit now, you can see I'm literally just trading with this person. And it's just not good whatsoever. And it will be the same thing in every single fight if you're just going to continue to spam crits. So it's very important in this version to know positioning and avoid getting hit. Now another good thing about this strategy is you're basically stopping the other person from critting you. Now that we've got crit spamming out of the way, a lot of people just love to hold W. Now if I just hold W and I fight this guy and I don't do anything but I hold W, you can see my aim is messing up. I'm not really able to get a lot of good hits and let's say I want to spam crit while holding W as well. The fight is just extremely messy and I'm at a big disadvantage, even with Quake Pro, like I can't even see where I'm aiming properly. Now something really simple that I like to do is S tapping. So basically as I'm holding W, I can hold S or just tap it at the same time like this. And as you can see, I'm just stopping my sprint. Now another thing you can do is just let go of W and you can basically do something like this. If I can just get some good hits going. Now obviously this is really risky. Because you're basically playing to combo the other player. And if they crit you, you are in a bit of trouble. Because they can start a combo where they just crit spam you. Like, if I just start missing on purpose, you can see I'm getting crit a bunch. And that's doing just as much damage as me hitting them like double the amount. Well, just basically W tapping like this. Now, I'd only really recommend this if the person was like constantly jumping. And it was just really easy to combo them. Or you were on low HP, or you have speed too. Like, it's quite good for those type of situations. And yeah, you might see a big opportunity to be able to just, like, get a couple of crits in. So, let's say I've been comboing the person for quite a while, just doing this, stopping my sprint, tapping A and W. And then I just go, yeah, I'm going to crit them a bunch. So, I did this. And then, as you can see, I would be up on the fight massively, just because I got a couple of crits. And it was really unexpected for me to do that, since I'd just been basically holding w and comboing them for a bit so yeah this is how i would pvp i would basically mix both of the tips that i just mentioned together so basically getting combos getting crits whenever i possibly can and if i want to go a bit more aggro i might just go for more crits like this just basically seeing the perfect opportunity for me to crit the other player as much as possible meanwhile trying to avoid getting hit by comboing them so if you guys just practice that for a little bit i can imagine you'll get really good at it now something else that i like to do is play in quake pro now obviously on 1.8 like lower fov is much better because due to clicking and stuff like that like your aim can be really bad but let's say i had 85 fov like it's not bad but for me personally, like I have really good aim in most games that I play, so I just don't see the point of using a lower FOV. Like if I'm really close and, you know, I feel like I can't see much. So I've always liked to play on a higher FOV if my aim is good and at the moment and for the last, I don't even know, six months probably, something like that, I've played on Quake Pro, everything's been fine. So if you have good aim, definitely recommend playing on Quake Pro. It also gives you a lot more awareness of your surroundings and you can just see a lot more and stuff and it's just really good on this version. Now please make sure to give this video a like if this helped you at all and if you guys want to see more future tips and tricks then definitely do let me know in the comments. This could be the first episode of a long series so just let me know.